Okay, hey, back here on the Marvy Rock Show. Got the guys from Push. It's been a long time since we've seen you guys. Guys, welcome to the show. Hey, hey. how you doing? So, hey, man, catch, catch us up what's going on in the world of Push. We've, uh, you know, we haven't seen you in quite a while. Uh, we've always been good friends in Mid-Atlantic Rock Reviews and the Marvy Rock Show, so we got a special place in our hearts for you guys. But uh, awesome. catch us up on the band, man. What's been going on? Walter, why don't you take that? Well, we got it. We just had a great gig here tonight with uh, Lillian Axe. Life Denied is on stage right now, Liquid Lucky, Love in Vain, and uh, we actually got a CD release show coming up with Love in Vain. They have a CD coming out as well. March 6th is the show at Ramshead Live, Friday night in Baltimore. Yep. That's when the album drops, March 6th, so come on out to Ramshead, pick up the album, and, we'll, and pick up uh, Love and Vain's album, and two new albums for 2015. Now, you guys aren't starting small. That's a big venue, so, man, tell us, how, how'd you make the decision to go with Ramshead? Because it's a great, it's a wonderful venue. Well, for you know, um, it's... Uh, well, when y'all when the first album came out, that's where the uh, the CD release show was. Right for uh, for the first Push album uh, back in was that 2011. 11. Wow! Right, so it's like you know, let's bring let's bring it back um, to the same venue and, right. and do it. And it's a great stage, and it's like it's like shit or get off of the pot, right? <laughs> let's do it, do it or don't. So let, so we're gonna do it. It's an excellent room, man. So uh, and then you got another big show coming up. I know you want to tell people about that's. Uh, going to be right back at this very venue, I believe. Walter? It's going to be April 11th here at Fishhead Cantina. We're going to be open up for Great Whites. It's going to be a real fun time. Yes. And for those that uh, you know are on the double Great White thing, that is Jack Russell's Great White that will be here with you guys, right? That version. So. Right. So, uh, hey, I know you guys got a music video coming out real soon. Tell us about that. Well, let's see. The new album, um, we we decided uh, what, what, what we didn't do with the last album we were going to do with this album, and that's uh, go the direction of video along with the album as a pair. Because um, let's face it, everything now is YouTube, Facebook, internet, internet, internet. Um, Thus the existence of Mid-Atlantic Rock Reviews. Right, right. <laughs> and um, so we, we figured let's take our best couple of songs on that we feel are the best on the new album. Let's really dump some money into some videos and to really help promote the album, um, have some fun with it, give some somebody something to look at. And uh, we feel like we got two really good videos coming out for this album. So can you give us a little sneak leak preview of one of the tunes? I know you kind you didn't tell me the whole story, but you hinted a little bit. And it was actually my favorite song in your set tonight, uh, the flight one. Uh, and flying I don't remember girl, the time. Flying Girl. Yeah. Joe, why, why don't you tell them about Flying Girl? About Flying Girl? Yeah. Why don't, don't you? Okay. <laughs> why don't you? It's your comment. All right. Well, let me, let me, let me and Walter take care of this. Uh, flying Girl, the video, um, we've rented a whole bunch of crap. <laughs> well, wait. You don't want to tell them everything. Right. That's There's, true. There is going to be something related to flying in the video. Oh, yes. <laughs> and, 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 and renting a bunch of crap. It's, right. a fun, it's a fun video. It's a fun video. Yeah, yeah. we think everybody's going to... It has an engine on it. It has what? It has an engine on it. <laughs> we, we, we think everybody's going to get a real good kick out of this video. Um, we tried to make it fun. It's a fun song. And uh, we're really looking for that's going to come out two weeks before the CD release concert. So toward the end of February, that video will be hitting the internet. And we got uh, another video coming out. It's a, really a song called "Do What You Want," and um, that's a uh, that, that's a little bit more uh, a little more on the serious side compared to "Flying Girl." Yes, uh, but still going to be a lot of fun. And that's going to be coming out after. The album comes out, correct? Yes, that's going to be two weeks after the album comes out. So, people, that's my best Paul Stanley, people, you have a whole month of push. You get a new video, you get a new CD, you get a CD release concert, then you get a second video sometime late March. What more can you people ask of us? Hey, so for people that, um, you know, remember you guys and kind of not disappear, but just not being the scene as much, how's the band evolved over the last since oh my we God. saw you like Talk a little bit about the evolution of oh the my band. God, Walter. Well, let's see. Um, 
That was in about three years ago, would be uh, fall of 2011. Yes. I joined up with the band. Um, we went through uh, looking for a new lead singer again, and hey, we found, hey, a lead singer over here <laughs> in our lead guitar player. We were Gio. already in that band. <laughs> and then uh, we went ahead and we added uh, Joe Holbrook here on second, second guitar and lead guitar as well. And so um, that... The sound has changed. Um, we've got a little bit more uh, more down tune songs. There's some heavier stuff. Um, there's a little bit, a little, a little bit darker uh, side. Using a little bit darker side of push, but still, uh, still fun. It's, yeah, it's still true to uh, um, what we've written in the past. It's still got the hook. Um, but it's it, like Walter just said. It's a little heavier, and uh, we feel a little more modern. And um, th this is this is the band that I wanted when I started started Push. Um, I'm surrounded by top-notch musicians, and uh, I, I just think um, I just think things are looking up. I, I think we're back. So uh, the songwriting process for this album, did you have some of these songs already in the tank like you've been wanting to do for a while, or did you kind of reinvent them all when you went for the album? Well, um, there's one or two that I've had sitting around for just a little while, um, and the bulk of the material was written within the last... Uh, within the last 10 months to a year. Um, so it's a combination of both, I think. Um, we've been able to play some of the newer material live to really, really, really get re really uh, rehearsed on it. Um, so when you see us on the 6th at the CD release concert, you're, you're going to hear it exactly like it sounds on the album because we've been playing the shit out of this stuff. Um, and uh, so I, I feel it's really good. So you guys threw one cover in there to close the uh, set out tonight. We did a Kiss tune. What was the? Where did that come from? Whose decision was that? Who's, who's the one driving the Kiss cover? That's good. I mean, it was a good cover, by the well, way. Well, you know that goes back to you know Gio has been playing Kiss songs for you know the past thirty years or so. So he knows you know knows uh, you know half of the back catalog up and down. <laughs> I do. And you know. Um, Actually, the first song that him and I jammed on together was Black Diamond. Yes. When I he happened to be sitting in on one of our practices, picked up the guitar player, and he found out, hey, look, we both know Black Diamond. So then <laughs> right. right away, that was the common ground that, right. uh, that we shared. And, uh, you know, I'll say it's a mu mutual thing, at least between Gio and I, are the main Kiss, uh, kiss Freaks yep. in this band. So uh, and we and and we wanted to do something that nobody would expect. Did you honestly? Did you expect to hear that? No. In fact, uh, <laughs> I, I looked down at your set list before you played. I was like, I want. Is it like just a coincidence? It's the same tune, or are they doing that? That right. Doctor Love. So. Right. No. We, we wanted to do something fun. That's that's the thing about Push. We're fun. We we're not pigeonholed into following a trend or trying to be something we're not. We do what we do, we write what we write, we play what we play, and we have fun doing it. We'll let the other bands decide if they want to follow the trends or not. We're going to do what we do. And we have fun. Well, hey, man, it's a great live set tonight. I mean, I couldn't help this. I don't know if you noticed it or not. Do you know that you look an awful lot like Steve Blaze from Lily and Axe, don't you? Uh, maybe a little bit. A little bit. Maybe a little bit younger version. I saw I saw Steve walk by just a little while ago. I was like, hey, you know. So anyway, don't know if you ever heard that before or not, but. <laughs> we love the Baltimore uh, scene, music scene, and it's got some really good people around it that support. Mid Atlantic Rock Review is probably one of the top three supporters of local music people. Oh, thanks, man. I, and I'm, that. I mean that from the bottom of, of my heart. Well, guys, thanks so much for being here. This is oh, one more thing. Where do people find you on Facebook? Because push, you can get all kinds of weird things. So how do they, how do they find you? Yeah, you know, here's the thing about that, real quick. Yeah, I went after the trademark for push. I am if on the Federal Trademark Agency's webpage as pending. Oh, okay. So all you other push people out there, <laughs> guess the what? Way. Get over it. Okay? Get over it. Um, but seriously, we're Push Live okay. on, on, on uh, Facebook. Facebook. And push our live. website's pushkicksass.com. Awesome. So get out there and check them out, guys. Thanks for talking to us again on the show. It's always a pleasure. Thank Thanks, you. man. Thanks.